Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to do something fun. We are going to work on the sump. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we're gonna 3D print a couple things and open up some packages. So I pretty much have everything uh, that we need to get the tank running, minus the return pump, which should be here just in a couple days. But uh, while we wait, I figure I could get some things in the sump done. Uh, for example, I printed a couple 3D parts, which are gonna be really cool. I'll show you that you guys that in a second when we put them in. And then, we are also going to install some lighting, uh, cabinet lighting, which I've never actually done before. Now, kind of the consensus online is that uh, most people just buy like cheap Amazon lighting that's made by some place out in China, which is fine. Uh, the one we're going to go with, I don't think it has a name, is Torch Star. Obviously, it's backwards, so that's fine. And uh, what's kind of cool about this one is that one you get all these light strips and then you have a motion sensor. So we're going to have the motion sensor go into the main sump area so that every time I open it, uh, it'll sense that motion and turn on. So I don't need anything additional to get these lights to work. So what's kind of cool about these lights is uh, number one, each of these individual bars has a uh, little bit of tape underneath. so. You don't have to buy any additional to stick it on there. And then they do actually link together, which is really cool. So you just have like one big long chain and then connect it to that center uh, sensor to get working. Now, when you, expect, uh, when you inspect it a little bit closer, you'll see it's actually kind of at an angle. So it's supposed to essentially go into the corners uh, and point downwards, which I think is a pretty good um, a pretty good idea. So what we are going to do is I'm going to stick one, I believe, here on the left side. Uh, these two areas right here just behind it, so it's more hidden. Uh, one on this right side, and then use one of the connecting cables to loop it into the uh, external the additional sump area here so we can give it some more light. And I think that'll pretty much do it. So I'll be right back in just a moment. We'll go ahead and get all this uh, all this lighting together. All right, and voila, I have all the lights in. Um, so here we have the motion sensor. I haven't put that anywhere specific yet because I want to kind of play with the motion to get it to be pretty sensitive when I get in there. Uh, the lights, as you can see, they're double stickied into the corners. There's one kind of there as well, a little hard to see. Um, same thing right on right here, one right there. And then we have another one, well, another two in this cabinet. So just right above here and then right above there. So yeah, I haven't finalized the wiring. We're just gonna leave it kind of as is for right now. Um, I have a little sticky things that I can play with the cords a little bit to make them, you know, more hidden. But yeah, that looks really good. I've never had under cabinet lighting before. If I had known sooner, I definitely would have got it because it makes it look pretty darn clean. But next, what we're gonna do is I have some 3D printed parts. We're gonna go ahead and kind of get the sump set up. Uh, there's a few things I wanted to do with this sump and you'll see in just a second all the, uh, the fun stuff I have made. Ooh. So the first upgrade we're gonna do is uh, I do want to have one frag rack in here. Uh, we're gonna have one in the other tank as well, but a little bit smaller. But I kinda wanted to utilize this space because uh, I don't usually run any kind of chemicals or anything. Um, and besides the reef mat that we'll get at some point, this whole area is gonna be kinda useless, um, to be honest. Uh, I don't run refugium either, usually. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and make this a frag rack. So I printed these, which is the same thing that I use um, in the other tanks uh, for the racks. But of course I made them in that red color. So it kind of matches the Red Sea plumbing. So hopefully that comes out and uh, looks pretty good. Cool, so that's pretty much how I want it to look. It looks pretty good, right? So it's that nice red color with just the black egg crate. And then we're gonna go ahead and just slide this guy right in. I don't think he'll slide right in. Give me 
a second. There we go. I kind of removed that um, that filter plate just to get this sucker in. In. Pretty much there we go. It's a little big. Maybe I'll make it a little bit shorter, but we'll kind of just leave that for right now. It looks just fine. I don't think it'll get in the way or anything. And then lastly are going to be these little, um, what do you call it, filter caps. So I made these to go onto these, um, this plumbing right here that leads from this sump into the additional frag tank sump. Uh, so these pretty much just slide right in. They do need a little bit of um, like plumber's tape in order to get it to stick fairly firm. And I'm going to basically make two, uh, one for here and one for there in this red color, just so it matches everything. And then in the other uh, side, I'm going to make them in black. Right now they're printing, so I don't have them to show right now. Uh, but I want it all to be all black there because there isn't any red um, on that external sump which you can kind of see here. Everything in here is pretty much black except for the plumbing up there, but you barely ever see it. So I just want to make it black just so it blends in with everything else. So once we have a little bit of that uh, plumber's tape, I've, I've actually already put this one in, but uh, just so you guys can see it, it's pretty cool. I don't think it'll stop any kind of water flow because it's pretty darn open. I just want to make sure that it's uh, you know good enough to prevent, for example, maybe some anemones or some uh, or my fish, a um, couple clownfish, a couple other fish. I don't want them interacting with each other, so I want to build kind of like a fence uh, to keep them separate. We'll go ahead and shove this guy in right here. Yeah, and that does look pretty good if you look at it. Ain't that kind of cool? Kind of see it here as well, even though there's a bunch of glare. And then here is the second one for the back. Voila, it looks pretty good, huh? Yeah, that actually looks pretty clean. I'm really glad the way it came out. Uh, the way they printed wasn't really that clean, not one of my best prints, but It'll do just fine, and um, the whole point is just to kind of maintain, you know, a good amount of water flow. I don't want it to be impeded too much, and I think this will kind of do it. But we're going to go ahead and wait uh, a little bit for the black ones to finish printing, and then uh, we'll see you guys back in a second. All right, so it's a little bit late at night now. Uh, it's like almost midnight, but we finally finished the other two drains for the frag tank here and I made these in black because everything else in here is pretty much black. I mean there is a little red tubing but you can't see it very much but we're gonna go ahead and just put these in instead um, just because I think it'll give it a cleaner look and we'll see in just a second. So the one thing on this frag tank is there is a divider here uh, which kind of actually gives pretty good flow I guess. Uh, but we're not going to use that so I'm actually gonna take this guy out. And it pretty much just slides right out. And we'll go ahead and just put it right here for the time being. Okay. And we'll go ahead and put the first cap in right here. And then the next one. And voila, there we go. I think it actually looks pretty darn clean. Like it doesn't stand out and it kind of looks like it belongs which is perfect. All right, and with everything else installed, the last piece we're going to be changing out is going to be the heads for the return pump. And I've gone ahead and printed these um, RFG, so random flow generators, and pretty simple. We're just going to uh, pull these guys off. There's one. There's two, 
And there we go. We are pretty much all set to go. There might be a few other things I think of to print uh, later on down the line, but pretty much everything I want to print is all set and ready. So other than that, thank you guys for watching. I uh, don't know what the next episode will be about, but it'll be coming out soon. Maybe we'll go ahead and show the light rack, or maybe we'll go ahead and fill up the tank, but we'll see then. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.